Lee, the STC machine here at the AMRC is one of the most used machine. Now, I've luckily been to the Rorschach factory where you actually make this, um, but this is the milling option. Uh, and I understand that this machine was really built with aerospace in mind, but what is this particular machine actually doing here? Well, this, this machine's been here for a number of years and it does a number of key components, predominantly for aerospace industry, but other jobs as well. And this is mid-size in the range. We start at 800 pallet size, we go up to 1800. So this is the STC, 1250, 1250 pallet size. But it's a, it's a heavy duty, robust, five axis milling machine, Mark. And when you look at uh, the configuration of the machine, can you also add turning onto this machine? You can. So, so we, we offer this machine in its current configuration predominantly to the aerospace market for structure parts, usually in titanium, good copy steels. Um, for, for the aero engine market, for casings, you could buy a mill, mill, turn, mill only variant or you could have a turning variant as well. And we're also using it now in other industries. So Lee, what's the configuration on the STC? The, the whole range is the same configuration. We've got a B-axis table that the component's mounted on often on a tombstone so we can have multiple components and then the a-axis is, is the the spindle rotating and within the spindle group we've got uh, a choice of either geared spindles or um, or motor spindles we also have a six axis version where the whole spindle group rotates as well as so you've got a and c axis on the spindle so when you're looking at the aerospace market i, I presume that this machine has been designed really for one hit machining as well Predominantly so, yeah. We started out in the aerospace market, as I say, for structures and casings. We're actually making our own machine parts now on these machines as well because they're so accurate, Mark. And why do you think they're so popular in, in, in sectors like the aerospace? Well, every, everything in aerospace, particularly when you're at the volume end, is all about cost per part. And these machines are the most efficient roughing and finishing machines for aerospace components. And how accurate really are they, Lee? Well, when we're making um, our own machine components on these machines with um, angular holes we've got true position accuracies of just a few microns. And when you're looking at uh, how this machine has actually evolved are you actually sort of selling this into other machine tool manufacturers now? We're selling it into machine tool manufacturers we're selling it into machinery markets as well so it's not just an aerospace machine now. So really this machine is well used at the AMRC and I presume that's very much down to the uh, configuration of the machine but also the aerospace nature of the AMRC. I don't think I've ever been to the AMRC and they've not been using this machine Mark.